Every time we flush, our waste becomes Icon Water's problem. But it's a growing issue for a system built for a much smaller city. What we're seeing now is obviously there's some capacity issues here at the plant, so we need to prepare for, for that population growth. And some of those assets are coming to the end of their life. The Lower Malonglo plant is well downwind of the Canberra tourist trail. And for most of us, out of sight and out of mind. When it was built in the 1970s, Canberra's population was around a quarter of today's size. We specifically don't call this a serious treatment plant, we call it a water quality control centre. But when there's heavy rain, that quality suffers, as authorities have to send partially treated effluent downstream. If we did nothing, we run the risk of discharging uh, uh, water that is not compliant with our licence. In this current five-year period, we're looking to, to expend somewhere in the order of $300 million as an investment across two major projects. It'll end up being Icon Water's most expensive building project, even eclipsing the enlarged Cotter Dam a decade ago. And it's a cost we'll all have to share. We've allowed them a 6.1% increase in prices across the board for water and sewage for your typical average customer. An increase of about $72 on their total bill for the year. The massive plant upgrades will mean fewer sewage releases and make Canberra a better upstream neighbour. But it'll also provide a green byproduct that'll help agriculture by locking carbon back into the soil. A facility which transforms human waste, or biosolids, into renewable energy and a sustainable product called biochar. Biochar is going to look very much like charcoal. Obviously it holds a lot of carbon within it and it holds a lot of the phosphorus that land uh, around this area need and it also has that lime as well. So we can use it to spread on uh, farmland. Icon Water is still taking community feedback on the expensive improvement plan. But really, there's no option but to upgrade Canberra's wastewater facilities. Customers might end up paying it off over decades, but shouldn't notice any other change. I mean, a lot of people don't know Lower Malonglu exists at the moment, so hopefully um, we will keep it that way. Craig Allen, ABC News, Canberra.